These are devotions for people at a social distance. Uh, in my personal devotions these days, I have been following the daily lectionary, uh, daily lectionary readings, which anyone can look up and follow. And uh, often in these daily lectionaries, uh, there is a psalm that returns several times in a week. And that psalm this week has been Psalm 133, one of the shorter psalms in the Bible. And uh, actually, I wasn't supposed to read Psalm 133 today. That was uh, one of yesterday's reading, but, but it so happened I clicked on the wrong thing. And what do you know, I found myself reading uh, Psalm 133. And I don't happen to believe a lot of accidents happen when you're doing devotions with God. Maybe there was a reason why God wanted me to come back to this particular psalm uh, one more time this week. And it spoke to me as it hadn't the other days this week when I'd read it. Psalm goes like this. How very good and pleasant it is when kindred live together in unity. And of course, you read that and you say, Amen. You know, when we all get along, when we uh, see each other as, as sisters and brothers in the church and other parts of life, things are good. You know, Amen. Um, all, I'm all for unity, you know, getting along. But the thing that's always puzzled me about this psalm is uh, that it, uh, it, it then goes into a simile that I never understood. So it talks about unity and it says, it is like the precious oil on the head running down upon the beard, on the beard of Aaron, running down over the collar of his robes. And then another metaphor, it is like the dew of Hermon, which falls on the mountains of Zion, for there the Lord ordained his blessing, life forevermore. So I never understood that metaphor, right? How on earth is unity like oil being poured on the on the head and beard of Aaron. Uh, how is it like dew and rain falling on the mountain? Well, that maybe makes a little bit more sense. It's it's obviously a blessing. Rain is a blessing uh, in a dry part of the land. But but how exactly is unity like the anointing of a priest? And I don't know. As it struck me today, I realize you know we are probably struggling today in the church and in many other areas of society with unity like we never have before. There is lots of division. And of course, this stressful situation we are in is creating division. And I believe a lot of what's going on, you know, for example, the groups of people, Christians and otherwise, uh, who start to believe in COVID conspiracy theories, who become anti-maskers, who become um, really... Uh, <sighs> the strong rhetoric of individualism and uh, and rebellion against you know some pretty sensible health uh, advice that is obviously divisive and often in reaction some other people uh, react with uh, with hatred and scorn against those people and that is also divisions divisive so we're really living with a, a divisive kind of time and and i don't think there's any denying that so how is unity in this situation like oil on the head and the beard of Aaron? Well, the only way thing I, that struck me today is, of course, this is an image of anointing. And anointing was, for the ancient people of Israel, the way of, of designating leadership and divine leadership, leadership that came from God. Uh, unity is nothing unless there is some competent, good leadership. And that God, competent, good leadership needs to come from God. And that is a, a conviction upon me. Uh, I want to be a good leader and a leader who creates unity, despite the things that tear us apart and cause division, uh, recognizing that good leadership, therefore, needs to come from God, needs to come from submission and, and openness to God, I think is really important. And it also means. I suspect a certain acknowledgement from the people that leadership <laughs> comes from God and that we need to be open and ready to listen to our leaders at difficult and stressful times. And I think that that, that 
listening to leadership that that extends not only to church leadership but also yes medical health leaders uh, government leaders uh, not that they are always right or always do exactly the same thing not that we we should never question them but recognizing that there is an authority there and that we need to take them seriously uh, is an aid to unity in difficult times so i was glad that the Holy Spirit seemed to take me back to this psalm today. And finally, maybe the lesson started to break through. Lord God, these are difficult times, and we are feeling the stress on our communities as things seem to tear apart and people face off against each other, probably driven by the stress of our situation. We pray for unity, which is not, not uniformity, not everyone being exactly the same but unity where we choose to get along and to work together to the best possible goals. And we pray for competent leadership in the church and in the community and in the nation, because we desperately need that as well. And thank you that you are also involved in that. Amen.